Hey guys, this is Chucky G, the Paranormal Explorer. Glad you could join me. Um, okay, so I'm doing the one man hide and seek. You know, I just found out too, it's also called Hide and Kill. Not a good name. Uh, not a good name, I'm not gonna use that. But I just figured I'd share that with you. I'm just gonna go with one man hide and seek because uh, it's easier to say than the Japanese uh, verbiage. And I'm not gonna say hide and kill because I don't wanna get killed and I don't wanna, and I, you know, no, 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 no. Okay, so anyways, so I have said bear, okay? So what we have to do is we have to, according to the instructions, we have to name the bear, okay, or, or whatever you're going to use, and then we're going to cut it open here. We're going to pull out the um, stuffing that's in the middle. Uh, I got some uh, long grain rice, okay, we're going to use that to put in there, okay, and then of course I have some, but you can't, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I have some hair, let me see it here, I have some hair right there, okay, that's my hair, yes, you got to use uh, either fingernails, hair or blood. I'm not using the blood, especially if the thing could it could be called hide and kill, so no. Uh, so we're going to do this right now, get this all set so that way when I wake up at 3 a.m. tomorrow morning, we can get this game on the way. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to just, all right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the rice, pour some in this, um, measuring cup here so I don't make like a mess. Okay. okay, that's good now, so we're going to put that there, alright, cool, okay, so now we're going to name the bear, uh, I know, it's going to be a little creepy, but I named it Daddy Teddy, okay, Daddy Teddy, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go ahead and cut right in here, and pull out whatever's inside there, sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry, I feel like my doctor operating, okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull out all the stuff that's in there. Oh, look at all the stuff. Oh my god, it looks like an <laughs> it looks like intestines, man. It's kind of gross. Okay, so we're gonna pull this all out. You see this? See? It looks like intestines, I swear to god. Alright, okay, so we're gonna put that here. We're gonna pull this out. Alright, gather all this up here. Wow, look at this. Okay. Get out of the way for now. Okay, we're pretty much, um, yeah. Okay, we're pretty much, we're, we're, we're pretty much gutted in there now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the rice in. You know, that they, that they say to do that, right? Yep. Okay, all right. Let me make sure I don't lose my hair. All right, there we go, okay. Got it. All right, so we're gonna pour the rice in now. All right, Daddy Teddy, here you go. All right, we got the rice in there. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to sew without uh, stabbing myself uh, with this thread here. It has to be red because it represents uh, blood vessels and you know the body but before we do that the most important part 
hair's going in. Here it goes. Okay, it's in. It's in, man. Okay, here we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and try to do a rudimentary, I feel like a doctor, I swear. So we're gonna do first is tie a knot here. Go through. Sure, this sucker doesn't uh, spring loose while we're in the when it's in the bathtub because that's where it's got to go later on is into the bathtub. So, um, okay, that's what we're gonna do now. Cut this here. Okay, got it cut. Then we we'll see if we can do another now, but I don't know if I'll be able to. No? Okay. All right. So now we gotta do is it says then you want to bound the bear as well. So right now I'm just binding it up. You can see right now it's all bound up. Okay, so we just got it about done. Cool. It says at the end of this game, just so you know, at the end of the game, you're supposed to burn the bear. Well, first of all, logically, if it's soaking in the bathtub and it's wet, I don't know how you're supposed to burn the bear. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bear, I have a container. And I'll put the bear in a container, okay, because first I'm going to ask only a positive spirits come through to play the game, you know, and not just leave it to chance if I can. Um, I'll put, I have a container, I'll put it in, I'll put some black salt, which is good for binding things in an area, and I'll bind it into this uh, container, and then the next, you know, like later on that day or the next day, um, I will take said bear and I will go bury it, um, you know. Take it out of the container and bury it. So that's what I'm going to do versus you know trying to light it on fire and you know it's all wet and so I, I you know that's that's the, what I chose to do. So okay, so we have Daddy Teddy is now bound. Okay, so um, the next part will be of course the said game or ritual, whatever you want to call it, and that will be later on. So okay, hang in there. This is going to get really interesting. Uh, we'll see if something happens. Uh, wish me luck again. Okay. See you soon. Okay, everyone. Good morning. This is Chucky G, the Paranormal Explorer. It's uh, about a quarter to three, so we're almost ready to do this um, said game ritual, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to kind of show you how I got everything set up, and then we're going to go ahead and do it because that by that time it should be three o'clock because we have to wait till three. So um, here, check it out. Okay, so we got the water going I got a little bath going here I um, got a recorder in here just in case we can pick up any sounds okay we have the TV here which is gonna be like the portal I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on now um, they say to use it as a portal so we're gonna go ahead and use it as long as it's on a static channel it's on a static channel I got the volume down though so we can hear anything that's happening in the house right here as you can see I have a K2 set up with another camera which i'll turn on in just a minute oh and by the way when the game is over you're supposed to they, uh, some say to burn the item but of course it's been in the water so what i do is i have a container set up with black salt and i'll put it inside pour some more black salt on and seal it and then i'll just bind it in there for now so everything's safe and of course and then i will sage the house so Everything is safe. I've already done a prayer this morning uh, to ask for just positive spirits to come through. Even though they say, well, this is the devil's game. But, you know, um, I think you can ask for 
positive spirits to come through to do this game. Uh, down here you can see uh, there's another camera with a REM pod millimeter set up as well. And then if you go over here, I have one more recorder set up so we can pick up anything else. Oh, and on top of it, since I'll be stashed away in my bedroom there, with the chair, I got a chair set up and everything. Um, this here, if you notice right here, there's like a little sensor on the ground. So if you go through, hang on. <laughs> um, I have a cell sensor on the ground. So if anything gets near the door while I'm in here, then we'll be ready to go. I got my glass of salt water. We're only going to do this for an hour. We'll be safe. Got a light, flashlight, got some water. As you can see, it's 2.49 a.m. right now. So uh, we got the instructions just in case you need it and the tripod set up. Um, okay, we're going to go get all these things turned on. Okay, we're set to go. Um, everything is running. Um, so we're going to go ahead and place it in there. We're going to start the experiment or slash ritual or slash game, whatever you want to call it. We'll just call it the game to make it easier for now, okay? I'm going to show you everything is ready to go. Okay, you can see the the uh, TV is going. You can see that we got the camera going there. K2 is on over here. Camera's recording, the millimeter is going, and so is the run pod, just so you can see. Okay, so it's set. Uh, we got this recorder going, so. Okay, wish me luck, here we go. I'm gonna try this out, man. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna give this thing a try and see what happens. So, it is three, it is three o'clock on the dot. Three o'clock on the dot. Got the stuffed animal. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Here we go. Okay, so it's to place it in the bathtub and then say, um, you know, I'm it. Three times, move out of here. We shut the lights off. Okay, and then basically after that, we, uh, ready to go because then I'll count to 10 and come back then it'll be its turn but before they do that I almost forgot I need a flashlight okay we're going we're going we're going we're going here we go okay here we go all right so okay here we go time to go Okay, we say, you can see it here with me. We say, Charlie is it, Charlie is it, Charlie is it. <clears throat> it is now in the water. Okay, lights go off. Teddy's turn. All right, here we go. Grab said knife. We go over here carefully, and we say, "Daddy Teddy, you're it." 
Teddy, Teddy, you're it. Daddy, Teddy, you're it. So this is kind of creepy, I have to say. So it's in there now. I'm hidden in my bedroom. You see Mr. T behind me. So I'm hidden in my bedroom. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully everything will be good and we'll be safe. I'm gonna move the camera, hang on. Let me adjust. These are things that you know, just want to test out, but you have to be careful when you're doing this stuff because um, you never know what part of it could be true, what, what part of it is not true. So, you know, just I like to be safe, so that's why I have all my, my cross and stuff with me. I've done a prayer before we did this. I asked for only positive entities, even though it, it says it's, it's it, it is the devil's game or whatever, but. You have to put that in perspective, you know, um, to what you're dealing with, because this is an urban legend, so it could be something someone made up, you know what I mean? That's not even true, because you really, you're not really doing enough, except for just saying I'm it, and then saying that it's it, and that's it. So, but you, know, you don't know what could be happening, you know? So you want to be very careful with this stuff, regardless, and have respect, because this way, you know, you're safe. So, yeah. So we're just gonna sit here and try to be as quiet as possible. Um, I'm gonna try to go for the full hour. Um, see how it goes, you know, see how quiet it is or if there's anything happening. But you know, I gotta give it some time. So, um, yeah, that's about it. It's totally silent. Oh, it's really pretty damn creepy. And it's my house, you know. So, but I'll know what sounds are just my normal house sounds. Or not, it's pretty quiet right now because usually I have like cars and stuff going like out, like out here on the street. So everything's really, really quiet because it's, you know, it's only, it's, it's just a little bit after three in the morning, so.
supposed to be super quiet. So anyways, I hope you're enjoying the channel. You're liking everything I'm doing. Trying to, you know, test out all these things that you see. Um, I've seen some people do these. <laughs> I've seen some people do these, and they, they you know, you know, you're, they're faking everything just for the sake of, you know, getting some views. But uh, I prefer to, you know, be honest. And if nothing happens, nothing happens. If something happens, something happens. You know, I feel that's the best way to approach it. You know, is really give you what's happening. At least for me, you know, um, and I wouldn't do these things, you know, off the cuff just because, ooh, they're fun, you know. I mean, I, I would take some precautions be careful with this because, uh, like I said, you know, being a psychic medium and, you know, um, doing these things, I know it's a show respect for what we're dealing with. So, um, you know, that helps a lot, too and precautions and all that kind of stuff, so. And you see, you can hear some of the cars going by now because people are starting to wake up. But that's okay, because I have two recorders out there and it's both cameras are recording audio too, so if they get anything at all, K2 I won't be able to tell because you can't hear that, that's too far away. So, and what I'll do then is I'll, um, what I'll do is I'll, um, take it out of the bathtub when we're done. You know, because you have to say I found you, I found you, and put the salt water on it, and then I'll put it in that container and seal it. And then I'll do a binding spell to bind it within the box. So it'll be safe, and then I'll just stage the house just to make sure. So, so you guys, uh, you can take a look here too. I, like I said, I got the cell sensor, so here, check this out. I'm gonna move the I'm gonna move the camera. Yeah, I found this game uh, a while back. I've been wanting to do it, but it takes so much, uh, it takes a lot of setup and preparation to get this ready. I mean, it's to do it the way I wanted to do it anyways. Um, and I tried to follow as best I could, you know, to the information I was given. So, you know, you get the best possible result. It's weird because I keep thinking I'm hearing noises out there, little thumpy thumpy thumps. <coughs> I guess we'll, okay, we'll see if the meters pick up anything or the recorders pick up any, you know, EVPs or anything, if anything at least. But yeah, I, I think I'm hearing, I'm, I keep swearing, God, I keep hearing like little thumpy thumps. Like,
Definitely interesting. Yeah, so while we're here, um, if you don't know about me, um, I've been a psychic medium since birth. I, um, I've been in the, the field of the paranormal, like investigating stuff since well, the 80s, so at least 30 years. Um, I founded a group called In the Dark Investigations in 2010. It's uh, trying to, you know, help further the field if possible, you know, and, and educate people on it. Uh, especially when you go in people's homes, you know, you want to make sure you're helping them um, understand what's paranormal and what's not. Um, you know, because TV is great and everything, but it sure it gives you a different picture than what half the time it's really going on. So, um, so I try to do that. Uh, yeah, and I, I like it. I find it very interesting, you know. Um, it's one of the mysteries, I guess, still that people... Uh, wonder about you know because everybody wants to know like what, what happens after we pass away you know um, so yeah. so between the fact that you know I speak to the other side but you only get so much information people go well you speak to your side so you should have all the information let's well, hear like so many other people I know that are like just get the same questions it's like we don't know everything we don't even know basically how it works half the time how we get our information it's just we get our information so we, we use it to give it to other people to um, you know to help them you know whatever way possible with their loved ones or whatever um, so uh, but we don't know like you know we have little ideas of what maybe the other side looks like uh, but they don't give out too much you know I think it's just um, some things are better left unsaid you know until that time comes because right now we're supposed to be worried about here on earth and enjoying our lives and living it to the fullest and you know all that you know so that's what I'm doing and uh, yeah I like doing this kind of stuff it's very interesting uh, but I am very careful because you don't know how much is theory and how much is real so you know going in with a nice uh, some skepticism but also some you know respect um, goes a long way, so. And, you know, it's interesting, too. There's, like, so many urban legends out there, you know, from the old ones like Bloody Mary to the Slender Man, you know. So, you know, you don't know what's, you know, when you tell a story, you know, and it's been told a million times, you know, it, it just changes and over and over on time and things get added and things get taken away. So you try to get... something beeping off. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Hang on. I'm going to take this off of here. Something's making noise out there, but I don't know what it is. It's sort of a high pitched noise, it doesn't sound like the millimeters, but. I'm not sure what it is. That's quiet, it's not the fan. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, I'll probably pick it up out there, but... I'm 
gonna turn the camera around again. Hang on, I'm gonna turn it around. Yeah, you can definitely hear it. I don't know what it is. It's really weird. I mean, the only thing running out there is the fan. It was really quiet before. I have the air off. I have everything else is off. There's nothing on. <clears throat> so I'm not really sure what that is. I'm hearing that, I'm hearing some thumps. Basically, it's put salt water in your mouth, go to where it's at, you gotta spit it on it, and then you say three times, I won, I won, I won, and then that's supposed to end everything. Of course, then what I'll do is, like I said, I'll take the, I'll take the stuffed animal and put it into the container. I'll put some more salt, black salt on it, because I have some black salt in the actual uh, container. Black salt is made up of all sorts of different things. It was given to me by a friend of mine. And uh, it's help, it helps to keep things contained. If there's anything bad or anything, it'll keep it contained. Um, I'm, I'm under the assumption if it's positive, um, it won't. But, you know, uh, hopefully that will not happen, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to let it, I'm going to go ahead and take it and either burn it or bury it like it's, you're supposed to do later on. And then I'll just take it out of the container. So whatever it is will be able to be free, you know, especially if it's something positive. You don't want to, you know, keep it contained. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that also, so, yeah. See, now the sound has stopped. Listen. No more sound. We have a minute or so that we're gonna go home and stop. So I'll take you guys with me, okay? Here we go. I won, I won, I won.
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take the rest of the salt water and pour it on it. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now we're gonna take it out of here and wring it dry and get it in that um, container right here. So hang on, I'm gonna put the camera down here. See it in the container there. So what do you know? Let's put some more black salt in there. Black salt, see that? Okay. Okay. You can see now. Black salt, it's all locked in there really well. Okay, now we're gonna seal it up. Okay, I'm gonna do a binding spell really quick so you can just listen as I put a binding spell on it. By air and earth, by water and fire, so be bound as I desire. By three and nine, your power I bid my moon and sun my will be done sky and sea keep harm from me cord go round power be bound light revealed and now you're sealed okay so I got it sealed up and you can see it's sealed in there okay we can put the lights on Lights on. Okay, guys. Everything's in. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so. Yeah. So for now, I am Chucky G the Paranormal Explorer. This was hide and one man hide and seek. Okay. Hopefully everything will be good now. Now I'm going to go and sage my house to make sure it's cleansed and we should be good. Like we like to say here at the channel, stay spooky.